from someone who has a diet of I don't know ashlands and boar meat all right you don't sky outlander we greet you warmly I like how they don't mind us sleeping but we better Let's hear it better check with the chief Lenevrin <laughs> Samu. Okay, we just I'm very saw happy this. To make your acquaintance. No. Is it this this looks like the general Go away. No, I'm not. <laughs> Damn, I'm not wasting one of ours time. Life beyond measure, Outland. <laughs> I will go away, but I'm I'm not wasting time. Uh, the prophecy. I know of these prophecies, but you intrude here without welcome. Leave my yurt now. Uh, you again? <laughs> the thought filled gift. Do you want to offer me a gift? Good, I'm not proud. I like gold, but this custom... Good, I'm not proud. I like gold. This is custom outland outlanders call a bribe, right? Hmm? I, I got a better idea. How rude. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say no, but kind of running into someone's house. We can sleep in your bed. That 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 make you happy. Actually, you know what? You know what? We're gonna rest here for three hours. In my dream, a tall figure in a golden mask spoke to me, Lord Nevering, Holker Hyru, long forgotten. Forget ye the three bless you, three betray you. One you betray was three times true. Lord Vare, Dagoth, Dagoth, Ern, Steadfast Lineman, Faithful Friend, bid you come and climb Red Mountain beneath Red Mountain once again, break your bones. Shred your cursed skin and pierce the wrath from Morrowind. Whoa. Yes, we dreamed that. <laughs> eh, it's in the morning. Now you like us. Always happy to chat with people like you. I don't you know. I can't argue with you there. Uh, what should we ask him about? Nevering! We Ashlanders from our land recording honor the prophet. You are an Outlander, so it's not proper that we should speak to you about this. Uh, let's, let's ask him. Okay, so he just says gold. The camp. And thank you for telling me something I already knew. I know these prophecies, but you intrude here without what? Okay. <laughs> uh, it's been a long, long time since I've gotten this far. Please go ahead, Outlander. So, from here on. I'll be pretty honest. <laughs> mm. You look like something. You have something on your mind. I'll uh, be a little hit and miss on what to do. Uh, Morwin. Morwin is the ancient Indian. 
Once longer than this was our homeland, Mal, creatures from the quest, sub new in their rule. Now all the lands of Morwen, only the Ashlanders still live the free revelant of the ancient Dunmer. Thank you. Uh, thought fill gift, if you prefer gift, good. I'm not proud, I like, eh. Uh, so what? What is it, Outlander? Let's hear it. Bribe you. <laughs> we didn't ask about it's a volcano fire in the center. The outer slopes are steep and rust in the burning rock. Beasts and servants of Devil Dagoth live on Red Mountain, settle, built magical barrier. Rain never falls, sun never shines, only weather is red and deadly ash. Dagoth Earth is the devil and the enemy. Dagoth beast servants, sources, many evil. Dunmer, Dagoth Earth. Fiery red clans served by his kin called the Ash Vampires and the Legends of Dagar. Huh. Huh. <laughs> the ghost fence is a magical wall. The said old created the barrier to keep Devil and his beast servants trapped in Red Mountain. The gate. The gate is the great warrior's fort of the settled people it blocks, keeps the evil trapped inside, yeah. Ugh. I am an alchemist. Disturbing dreams is... This is a strange dream. This Serendero speaks to you in the voice of the prophecy. He curses the three betrayers and the three false gods, Vivek and Sheros. Still, he calls you. This is a very strong v dream, very cunning, and a dream to stir hearts. A dream of the Nervine is very strong and very dangerous for you and your all my people. Okay. Well, nothing else. Under sun and sky, Outlander, we. Cr I don't know you. What do you want? Thoughtful gift. Do you offer me poor outlander? Even these small things are too puzzled to you. Then bring me some terror. I'm a hunter and it's beneath my dignity come in the dirt, but perhaps you're Okay. Some tano root. Uh I don't think we have any. Uh, I know we don't, but Mutsera. What an unexpected surprise. Huh. I don't know you. They're always fun to talk to. Talk? You want to speak to soon? You want to speak to Noon? Have they sent for you? No. If they have not sent for you, then they will not speak. Then you will not speak to them. You are an outlander, and so is our chief. Nibbit is a wise woman, and they will not speak to you. Well. In that case, um, yes, they have. <laughs> I've not heard of this, so go and find someone who has <laughs> thoughtful gift. 
You have a comma egg for me? These are quite tasty and not easy to get. Thank you. Thanks for that. That was my breakfast, but you know, you know no, no, no big deal. You are an outlander, and you wish to talk of the Nervering Prophecy? Now I wish to talk about pretzels. You polite and well-mattered for an outlander, I do not think you mean to give offense. But why should you care about the Nervering Prophecies? Well, I fulfill, I know a little, hmm. Well, I would hard to ha ugh, have a hard time believing I fulfill the prophecies. So, I know a little. I'm not surprised you are a, thanks a lot. Outlander, it is not my job to teach you. Well, of course, not your jobs to stand there and insult everyone who comes by, but never mind. <laughs> what does an outlander do? Say of a school of the. Say to. <laughs> well, the emperor thinks I fulfill the prophecy. I do not believe what I am hearing. You think you are the Nervering and you wish to speak to... S uh, you do not look like the Nervering, but you do not speak like a fuller madman. This is a puzzle, I tell you. Go speak with Zilman and is your... He is a Gulksman some champion and he will decide. If Zone gives you permission, then you may enter Aspens and speak with... It's coming back. Alright. Eh. On this side, I do, well... Uh, we have to... If you waste your time, get something. Go away. What? I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. How can I help you? Uh, see, see, you, you, you just gotta put on the charm. <laughs> Talk. You have no standing among us, Outlander, but you speak well and with respect, so I will explain. It is against our customs that an Outlander should speak to an Oxman or a wise woman. I tell you also that has no love for outlanders. Okay. Well, what about the Nervering? The Nervering are not for outlanders. Why should it speak to you about these things? Who are you and what should and what should trust you? I am a great hero. I offer you 2,000 gold as a tribute. Offer to fight a duel to death. I have learned much of the cult. Hmm. Well, we're not really a hero. We do have the gold, but that kind of seems a little, you know... <laughs> Fight to the death as remember we when we read the Ashlander things the notes that Hassel gave us you know it is honorable to accept and I've learned much of the cult yeah we have but you know I don't think that would really buy us anything. You know, it definitely wouldn't buy us any respect. So, 